So now chapter number 22 appeals and revisions. What we are going to talk about in this chapter. There are certain orders again which appeal can be filed. There are certain orders in respect of which appeal cannot be filed. So where orders are non-appealable we can only file application for revision. Right? Otherwise appeal is always there. Right? Now for appeal we have different labels. We have appellate authority. Then there is appellate tribunal. And then there is high court. And then there is supreme court. As far as appellate authority and appellate tribunal are concerned. Appeal can relate to either, either the facts or law. But appeal before the high court or supreme court should necessarily relate to law only. So if the question of law is not involved, next appeal also will not lie. And who can file the appeal? Department can file an appeal against the decision given by its own officer. Senior officer cannot rectify or cannot change the order made by the junior officer. Senior officer can point out that the order passed by the junior officer is not proper, but he cannot correct that. It is only by way of appeal to the appellate authority or appellate tribunal that it can be rectified. That way department will file an appeal. And the person or you can say supplier, he can always file an appeal against the decision given by the adjudicating authority. Against the decision given by the appellate authority. Against the decision given by the appellate tribunal. So those are next levels where the appeals can be filed. Right? So appeal, when we say appeal, it does not mean necessarily by the supplier only. Even department can also file appeal. Now suppose one supplier is there who has filed an appeal against the department before the appellate authority. And the decision given by the appellate authority goes in favor of the supplier. Department is aggrieved. It can file appeal. It can file a next appeal before the appellate tribunal, right? So we have two parties who can file appeal. One is department, and another is the person against whom an order has been passed. And almost in all cases, he is the supplier. One case we have seen where the person, where some other person who is helping the person to commit an offence, that is for abating the offence. He is not a supplier, but is still punishable. So instead of saying supplier, we'll use the words person. So any person against whom an order is passed, he can always file an appeal. Right? But there are certain cases where appeal cannot be filed. So now here it says, once you complete the chapter, what is expected? Identify the various kinds of appeal at fora available under CGST Act and their hierarchy. So there is appellate authority, there is appellate tribunal, there is high court, there is supreme court. The cases before appellate authority and appellate tribunal, those are either facts or law, but the, question, but the cases before high court and supreme court should necessarily relate to law only. Number two, it says, explain the various aspects relating to filing of an appeal before the appellate authority by the RCC as well as by the department and provisions relating to revision or order by the revisional authority. So who can file, when the appeal can be filed, when you can go to the appeal, when you can go to appellate authority and when you have to go to the region and revisional authority. So when the orders are not appealable, their only option left is go to the revisional authority. Nothing else will be left. Then appreciate and explain the provisions relating to constitution and structure of the appellate tribunal. This is not relevant for the purpose of exam. Then comprehend and explain the concept of mandatory pre-deposit of the final for the filing of the appeal. Pre-deposit. So when the question relates to the amount of the tax or the penalty, first of all, in case of tax, the, you have to pay the amount of tax, you have to pay the interest, you have to pay the penalty, then only you can file an appeal. Right? So to the extent you already accept. So suppose there is an order which says that you have to pay 25 lakhs rupees by way of tax. On this you have to pay interest and you also have to pay penalty. Penalty. 